to the Governor's Ball. We can't leave yet, Ines. Diego went to see your grandmother, and I'm busy handling ranch business. Be patient, my daughter. Father, I'm all grown up now, and there's a ball. <laughs> Come on, Bernardo, dance with me. <laughs> Would a certain Senorita de la Vega like to finish her fitting? Otherwise, you won't be able to leave until next year. <laughs> Coming! Coming, Doña Maria! Don't worry. <sighs> Hello. Who are you talking to? Me? To my mother. And you? To my grandpa. I miss him. I liked him a lot. Are you from our tribe? My mother was. She was a Chumash, like you. And why isn't your mom with you? It was a long time ago. Pirates attacked our house. My mother saved us from the pirates, but the Great Spirit took her away. My daddy left this morning. He was taken away by the soldiers. What? They had lots of horses and lots of guns. You want me to show you? Out. What on earth are you doing here, Don Diego? I was about to ask you the same thing, Corporal. Yeah. A road work, Don Diego, ordered by the governor. Ah, and I suppose these men volunteered to help you with this road work? We didn't ask them for their opinion. Captain Monasterio ordered it. Ah, and that whip? Ah, this was my little idea. They work faster when they see it. Very clever there. But what if someone thought it was outrageous? He would have to speak to my superiors. What a great idea. Thanks for the advice, Corporal. I'm still kicking. A few more spring times, and I'll be older than that mountain. <laughs> Alas, you've come back to us during times of trouble. I've seen. The soldiers are marching Chumash men into forced labor. What will you do? You know, we certainly aren't warriors. I've made peace in the past and never want to see war again. But these soldiers took our men away this morning. The only ones left are women, children, and us hunched over elders. If they take any more men, I'll have to go fishing at my age. They're cutting a new road on that mountainside. I saw them, but what for? There's nothing on that mountain. The spirits have told me these soldiers will bring great evil to the mountain. Don't worry, Grandma. I'll go to Monterey and talk to the governor. He'll order them to stop. See, 
I see Governor Don Parasol likes his luxury. Meanwhile, our poor people lack the basics, like food. I'll take care of the governor, Ines. I'll make Monasterio tell me everything he knows about this world. Excellency, allow me to introduce myself. I am Don Diego de la Vega. Don Diego! I've heard so much about you. You know that I was appointed to this post during your stay in Spain. I've heard many say you're a young caballero with great promise. Oh, Don Parasol, they're being too nice. Well then, my dear Diego, how do you like being back in California? Ah, uh, well, I must say a lot has changed in California. Before I went to Spain, nobody would ever have marched the poor Chumash into forced labor for the crown. <clears throat> what is this you say? I'm not aware of... Come now. Road work? Through the Chumash Mountains? I'm not aware of the project. You know I do not concern myself with boring matters involving Indians. You are not aware of any of this? There's surely a good reason for employing these... these... Uh, chupa... Chumash. Oh, and their names are so complicated. You know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> <sighs> Pleasure to see you. Dare I ask you to grant me this dance? <gasps> I'd love to, Captain. Ah. <gasps> I have heard you are overseeing roadwork in the mountains. Nothing can grow on those rocky slopes. Oh, you have? Uh, yes, uh, I have a number of projects going locally, but I cannot discuss them. Not even with a pretty senorita oh. like you. Oh, you can tell me anything, Captain. Tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> You're awfully curious, sweet Ines. I have to tell you, though, pretty soon, the woman I marry will be rich. Very rich. Excuse me, Captain. Do you mean you'll become rich? <laughs> You don't think I'm planning on spending my life in the military, do you? A man of my standing? I'd make an excellent ranchero. But first, I need land. And a wife. <laughs> Ow! Oh, you stepped on my toes, Captain! Oh, oh, oh ah, forgive me. I'm terribly sorry, senorita. If you'll excuse me, I'll go join my father. <laughs> Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, my dear friend Bernardo. Mm, mm, starving and exhausted. Oh. I almost forgot you can't hear or talk. So I guess you won't go babbling a secret, eh? Mm, that blasted mine up in the mountains. It's no kind of work for soldiers. No. Hmm. Ah. Poor Chumash. I don't like this, Bernardo. Ah, it does me good to talk to you. Even if you can't understand! <laughs> I needed to get it off my chest. Sergeant Garcia. Uh, yes, Captain? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Prepare to return to Los Angeles. That's why Monasterio thinks he's going to be rich. But what kind of mine? What's really odd is that Don Parasol didn't seem to be aware. So the captain wants to keep it all for himself. That's just wrong. Who thinks this is a call for Zoro? <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> what an exhausting trip. <sighs> I think I need to take a nap. You should do the same, children. We promise, Father. 
Everyone knows what to do? Let's go then. 